You're never allowed to impose a decision of who to marry as a parent. That's not a right that Allah has given you. The child has a right to refuse and to reject and to say, no, I'm not interested and so on. You have to open your ears. You have to listen attentively. What do they want? What are they seeking? So that's step number one. The introductions used to be made. I think they are still made in a lot of communities. An introduction is made. If you don't get along, perhaps the first person introduced to you, you're allowed to meet them. And the meeting is not just a little tray that you pick up and you pass from one corner of the room to the other. And they're supposed to size you up in that moment and then say, mm-hmm or mm-mm. That's not how it works. You have every right to talk, to communicate, to interact, to see, to look. And they have a right as well. You need to talk, communicate, interact, see and look. And you need to know that until you're not satisfied, don't nod your head. Don't. And many of us sometimes we say, and I'm going to say this because it is definitely something that is affecting a lot of us. Sometimes you have a good child, really good, mashallah. And they say, Dad, you know, I want to please you. I'll do whatever you say. So Dad says, right, marry there. And you say, okay. You need to know the Almighty, the Prophet wasallam as well has said, have you looked at her? So the companion says, no, I didn't. He says, go and look at her. Go and see her. Make sure that you look at her. Because there is something in the eye, which means you might pick up something that you don't like and you can say no. Because you are going to punish someone else's child by not having communicated correctly with them and just nodded your head and then when you marry you say oh no man I regret I shouldn't ever have done this subhanallah so my brothers and sisters it's important for us when we want to obey what our parents are saying and parents are very important remember the most important people in your life your parents you need to take their guidance what they're telling you is not revelation from the heavens they could be making a mistake, remember that. But generally, out of their love for you, they will be guiding you in the right direction, hopefully. But sometimes they're making a mistake because they don't know what society is all about. If the generation gap is beyond 20 years, I've noticed that. Before we used to say 40 years. And usually it's beyond 20 years. I mean, I was one of those few who already had children at the age of 20. Mashallah. But not everyone has that. Subhanallah. So once there's a generation gap, it's difficult, it's very difficult for us to understand each other. And this is why we need communication with our children such that we should allow them to disagree with us so that we can guide them. Did you hear what I'm saying? I know there is a lot of disturbance in the front. It's disturbing me too, but it's okay. That's what life is all about, right? Mashallah. We get disturbed, we enjoy it, we crack a joke about it, and then we get back on track, inshallah. So... <laughs> So my brothers and sisters, remember this. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala is so merciful. We as parents in this day and age should definitely allow our children to disagree with us. And we should engage them in discussion. Because if we don't, we're going to lose them. People cry tears. I lost my child. I lost my, my son. For example, they, they no longer want to listen to me. They no longer want to live with me. They Whatever else, sometimes they've left the faith. They've done this and that. You know what? too late. You are trying to develop a relationship now when all these years you had to develop it and you did not. What's the point of coming to cry now? My parents, the age has changed. You have to be in such communication with your children that when they have a problem, they can tell it to you. 